I encourage people to spend time with God every single day. And I, I would encourage you to, to use some form of Bible study method to help you as you read through God's word. Um, one that I use often is called SOAP. It's scripture, observation, application, and prayer. You find your scripture verse, you make an observe, observation about it, and then you apply it to your life, and then you write a kind of a concluding prayer related to what you just read. So my scripture today is James chapter 4, verses 16 through 17. James writes, As it is, you boast in your arrogance. All such boasting is evil. So whoever knows the right thing to do and fails to do it for him it is sin. So here's my observation. Boasting is evil and is foolish because we don't actually control our future to the degree that we wish that we could. And we should make our plans, we should set our goals and dream big dreams, but then we need to commit it all to the Lord. And I think that's the message of verses 13 through 17 when you look at it as a whole. So my part is to live each day all in for Jesus. And if I do that, everything else that becomes just details. I read a quote from Bob Pierce. He was a Baptist minister, and he was the founder of World Vision and Samaritan's Purse. And both of those are agencies that still exist, and they help people who are hurting in the name of Jesus. Well, near the end of his life, when he was asked how he accounted for what God had done through him, he replied that very early on, he learned to pray a very simple prayer. And this is what he would pray. Lord, I give you the right to change my agenda anytime you like without informing me in advance. I think that's the kind of prayer that God can answer because it's based on the truth that God is God and he has absolute control and the absolute right to do whatever he wants. And I think a lot of people end up unhappy because they, they're fighting against God at the point of God's sovereignty. They've never really fully surrendered their agenda to his control. People want to make deals with God and negotiate with God about the terms of how they're going to serve him and what they want their life to look like. Or they go about making plans and then they want God to kind of rubber stamp the plans that they've made. But we're not in control of anything. And that's a hard truth for us to confront because most of us, you know, we're control freaks, right? We want to rule over our little corner of the universe. So my application is this. I need to make plans and have dreams but I need to hold them lightly because they're not mine and I don't control the future. Everything that I have, it belongs to the Lord. And I'm really here, I'm, I'm to steward my time and to steward my resources to accomplish all that God has planned. So yeah, make, make your plans and dream your dreams, but hold your plans and your dreams lightly because you don't control the future. And so this is my prayer. Lord, I give you the right to change my agenda anytime you like, without informing me in advance. Amen. God bless you. Have a good day.